guys, it's Natasha and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long that I haven't even posted. Obviously I'm still doing the daily vlogs, but I just, you know, I've kind of gotten away with a lot of things right now. So I'm trying to get back on track. And we're here with Xander's seven month update. Can you even believe he's already seven months old? I can't. He turned seven months on the 15th of April. And here he is. Shh, can you look at this kid? I mean, he is a monster. Pretty soon you're going to be carrying me around. And he is so talkative, nonstop. Duck, 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 duck. Duck, 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 duck. All day long, all day long. I duck and duck and duck, duck, duck. And he's... I can't remember what, I probably should have watched the five month update because I decided to skip doing a six month update because there just wasn't anything new. And I'm not sure how he'll do with being in this video. He just wants to walk and walk and walk. Here he goes, trying to go. Xander, I can't walk with you right now. I'm filming this video. What's this? All right, so he's walking all the time with help and he's kind of doing the like I call it the creep around because he's like clinging on to things and just trying to get himself around like if we had things set up around our whole spot he'd literally be uh koala bearing around our house like he's crazy what oh yeah are you gonna talk throughout the whole video is that what you're gonna do <laughs> As far as his weight, he was 2313 on his birthday. We had a visiting nurse come, which she's been coming ever since he was born. I think she came maybe a day or two after we got home, which has been cool. She's super chill and, you know, it's not invasive at all. And it's actually a time where I can just talk to somebody outside of, like, our doctor circle. And, you know, she's cool. She gives awesome information and answers any questions we may have. So if you have the option to do that, I would definitely take advantage of it. It was kind of forced upon us, but, you know, I wouldn't change it. Because it's way different than I thought it was going to be. And, oh my gosh, this is getting so ruined. And what else is there? Uh, as far as his food, he is still breastfeeding all the time. That has not slowed down. I don't see it slowing down. And I don't necessarily want it to slow down. I mean, that's our time where it's only us. And I mean, I, I enjoy, I'm definitely enjoying our breastfeeding relationship and I think I might film some sort of breastfeeding update and just kind of ease first time mom's nerves because yes it's hard and yes it's demanding but those are the only kind of uh, hurdles I've faced you know so but as far as food food hey 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 what's the matter what's the matter come here Come on. Ugh. As far as food, food, he is eating whatever we give him. And what? What? You just want to walk. You just want to walk. You just want to walk, walk, walk. Uh, he's just having whatever we give him. He... What? 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 Who's that baby? <sighs> <laughs> as far as food, he's getting whatever we get on a smaller scale. Like if I'm eating meat, he'll get some sort of uh, shredded meat that I've cut up. And his favorite foods right now, I'd say, are probably bananas. Any sort of fruit. He loves carrots, cooked carrots. I haven't given him a raw carrot yet. Do you want to get down? Where do you want to go? Do you want to drink? <laughs> it's so hard. This is why I can't do it anymore. It's so hard to just get a few minutes. What? 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 So, yeah. He is 
definitely not missing a meal at all. What? Do you want to stand right there? Do you want to stand? And look at his nose. Look, he's so buddy. And I've also started making my own bread this month. And he loves that. I just give him a small piece that he can handle. And of course he makes crumbs every single where. What is that? What do you got? And as you can see, we are clearly still cloth diapering. He's wearing a size two in apple cheeks. And then he's pretty much on the last rise of the pocket diapers. Some of them I don't even need to snap. Uh, the rise down, but some of them I'm finding that it just gives it a little bit of a trimmer fit and I don't need to snap it over as much. And he's wearing a size large G diaper and I am doing a cloth diaper fit video. I know if you watch my vlogs, I say it every single day, but it is coming and I'm working on it and I'm getting it done. So don't... <laughs> Please don't hold me to any sort of uh, schedule or anything because it's just too hard. Like, look at this Klingon that I have. <laughs> I love it, but he's a Klingon. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, give me a smile. I got a smile. <laughs> and he is still not really into the stroller. He can... I think that he would have done a lot better with some sort of stroller that is parent facing. And I don't know whether it's too late now to get one, but I just, it's, it's tough to bring the stroller if I'm alone. It's tough to bring the stroller out. So I always have to bring the carrier and then it's like I'm pushing the stroller back and no. So he loves being in the carrier and in time, I know he will like the stroller, it's just it doesn't face us, so he's not really into it. Is that all? Is that all? What else do we have to say? Oh, um, he could be teething, he could be not. We He has his bottom ones, they're pretty much up, but I think we're working on the top ones because he's super fussy throughout the day. So, hey, 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 let's finish it up. Let's finish it up. Let's finish it up. <gasps> <laughs> Say bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my mama. <gasps> bye. <laughs>